You guys loved my videos about the 1960s when I told you about what the essential albums were. I'm not done with the 60s yet, but I'm going to jump forward a bit and start talking about the 1970s. So stick around for five of my picks from the 1970s music world. This is exhausting, guys. I was going through my classic records. The 60s have a lot, and I have more videos to make, but wow. The 70s is out of control. The amount of amazing music that came out in the 70s is almost too much for my head to comprehend. So these are not the five best, but these are five of my favorites. So I wanted to clarify that before I get started, but these are definitely records you need to have in your collection. I'm gonna tell you why. Cause tramps like us, baby we were born to run. The boss. That was a terrible, terrible impression. That was amazing. Bruce Springsteen. Born to Run. Uh, some may say this is his best album. I think it's his best album. Some may disagree wholeheartedly. He has such a massive catalog that it's kind of hard to choose. But I think in the 70s, this was an absolute standout. Starting off with Thunder Road, ending with Jungle Land, both of them having incredible saxophone moments. Throughout the album, you have Born to Run, 10th Avenue Freeze Out. Everything on this album is absolutely worth listening to. It's anthemic, it's the voice of a generation, and I went to high school in Jersey, so if I didn't pick a Bruce Springsteen album, I would be strung up in the town square. The title song, Born to Run, is exceptional, but I truly, the, that intro and that conclusion, there are a few albums that hit you that hard at first and hit you that hard on the way out. Jungle Land is one of the best songs I think ever written, and that sax solo, if you don't know this album, this is a great way to start with Bruce Springsteen and then just kind of dive in and wait around in his discography because everything's really good, but this is the shining star. The 70s was the era of Pink Floyd. They truly dominated the airwaves, and some people may say that Dark Side's the best, some may say Wish You Were Here's the best. I'm an animals man myself. I am a firm believer that this is the best thing Pink Floyd has ever done, and that's saying a lot because they did a lot of good stuff. Cool little gatefold with some uh, imagery, and then... Uh, this cover is super iconic. When I saw Roger Waters play one of the best shows I've ever seen at Desert Trip last year, he had these smokestacks rise up behind the stage and he had a giant pig floating above us and it was super political in the best way. And this album is just so powerful. I mean, the guitar work on this album is unparalleled, I think. There's almost nothing like it. It's spacey, it's proggy, it's trippy and songs like Dogs that just go on for like, was it like 11 minutes or something? It doesn't feel long because you just get lost in those notes. My favorite song on the album is Pigs, Three Different Ones. That is a song that my father turned me on to when I was younger, and it's always held a lot of importance to me. This album, Animals, is a 10 out of 10, and I one day will find the copy on Pink Vinyl, the official one, and the picture disc of this. I'm, I'm seeking those out, so hopefully one day, but if you don't know Pink Floyd, that's crazy, but if you want to learn about Pink Floyd, I think Animals is a really fun place to start. You may recognize this from the t-shirt of some guy in your class from high school. <laughs> Led Zeppelin. There's a lot of uh, talk about what this album is truly called. Some say it's just four. Some say it's self-titled. Some say it is Zozo. Uh, some say it's just a symbol. I call it Led Zeppelin 4. It's their fourth album. and. It's my favorite of their albums. A lot of hardcore Led Zeppelin fans will get really pissed if you say this is their favorite album because this is kind of their poppiest or like their most well-known in terms of the song output. I'll explain. On this album, you have Black Dog, Rock and Roll, a song called Stairway to Heaven, Misty Mountain Hop, Going to California, When the Levee Breaks. Those are some of their biggest songs. Well, it's also some of their best songs. I know Stairway to Heaven is overplayed, but you can't deny how amazing it is. And songs like Black Dog, Misty Mountain Hop, and Going to California are standouts in their entire catalog. I will fight anyone on that. Those are some of the best things that Led Zeppelin's ever done. I think this is an essential record for anyone who has a turntable to own. You can buy one for fairly cheap, go to a store, you can probably find a decent copy for 10, 15 bucks, maybe even less. And this is a great place to start. If you don't know Led Zeppelin, this is some of the most accessible stuff, as well as some of their best. So Led Zeppelin 4, or Zozo, whatever you may call it, this is great. Here's an album that I think I've mentioned way back on this channel, maybe two years ago, but I want to talk about it again. Nick Drake's Pink Moon. If you don't know Nick Drake, he passed away very young, unfortunately, like many amazing singer-songwriters tend to do. But Pink Moon is the shining star of his catalog, in my opinion. Everything is worth listening to, but this dude was Elliot Smith before Elliot Smith. He was Sufjan before Sufjan. He manages to capture simplicity with the guitar and his voice, his amazing voice, his poetic lyrics. He's... It's almost like Bob Dylan as well with the, the poetry, but obviously he can sing much better than Bob Dylan can. 
Pink Moon. I wouldn't be surprised if this influenced Joao Gilberto because the White Album from Joao came out right after this, a year later. Uh, this is just some of the best simple, beautiful, sad folk ever. The album is not very long, but every song is going to hit you in the feels. And this is one of the best albums, I would wager, of all time. So Nick Drake's Pink Moon, this is an essential one to own. And if you like this, check out some of his other stuff. He had a couple other great albums before he passed. Curveball, Boston. Ooh. Boston's self-titled album, which honestly is a greatest hits album. Nothing they did after this quite matched this amazing debut. They really came out of the gates hot and fell off the track, but that does not deny how amazing this album is. This album, every single song is something you've heard in a bar, Maybe you weren't sober enough to remember, but you definitely heard it, or you heard your dad playing it, or your mom playing it, or you play it. This album has more than a feeling, peace of mind, foreplay long time, rock and roll band, smoking, let me take you home tonight, and then two other songs that are equally amazing, but you might not have heard called Hitch a Ride and Something About You. This album, guys, you can find this for cheap anywhere, and you need to own this because this is just a rockin', arena rock, kind of just a great like fun rock and roll album and you know brad delp's vocals are insane so i think that this is a an absolute must own i didn't even realize this was 70s until i pulled this out this is 76 and i thought this was 80. i thought this was definitely an 80s album and i was wrong i got schooled on my own collection so boston self-titled i mean if you've heard foreplay a long time and had your brain shattered to it you know how good this band is so Love Boston. Look at that fro. Look at that fro. So those are five of the hundreds of amazing albums that came out in the 70s. I have a lot more than this in my collection and I'll probably be acquiring more over the course of the next year. So I'll be putting out these 70s videos sporadically when you least expect it and you most want it. And I'll be showing you guys what you need to own from the 1970s in your collection. Quick shout out to our sponsor for this video, Vinyl Moon, the record club for people that don't have time for record clubs. Please tell me what I missed. I probably know I missed it. I have a huge list on a notepad on my computer, but I'd love to see what you want. And there's a good chance that if you say something, it'll be featured in a future 70s video. So let me know what your favorite album from the 1970s are. If you like this video, give it a like. Please subscribe. More videos real soon.